Hello everyone, how are you all? This is your computer teacher Sumit Sadana to the computer class. Uh, in today's video, we'll discuss about our lesson 4 that is working with queries. And as you can see on your screen, that uh, um, this is the chapter, and uh, these are some learning outcomes which will, you know, help us in, um, you know, understanding the terms and all. So let me tell you that we'll be dealing with what is a query, uh, how to set a relationship between tables. That means I'll tell you how to create a table, right? Uh, how to create a query and uh, specifying simple and multiple criteria. That means specifying simple multiple criteria in the form of query via query and uh, what are forms, how to create the forms and what uh, reports, how to generate the report. Okay. So let's start. Uh, as you already can see on your screen, the database of any organization may contain a huge amount of data. Means a database is, that is why the name has been given that uh, what is a database. Database is something uh, which contains a huge, a big amount of data for any organization. Might be educational organization or uh, any, any organization basically. And uh, moreover, it may consist of multiple tables. Uh, multiple tables, uh, you know that the database is basically in the form of tables. Uh, the data or the data elements or the values are basically being saved in the form of rows and columns. The rows and columns are, are combinedly together creates a table. So, first topic that is what is query? Query in general term is like a simple question that asks uh, that one asks to find a specific information from the database. So yes, in a query, uh, in the MX, MS Access, Microsoft Access, uh, query is something that uh, to ask any kind of question from the database, like uh, means you want to search any kind of data from the database, like from the tables and all, uh, you can, uh, you know, raise a query there. Uh, it's not like that that you will raise a hand and ask for the query you will write down what query you want what database what uh, data you want from the data okay so queries are made on tables and the results are displayed in the form of a table so that is in our group of rows and columns with a set of orders set of orders that match the given condition means set of orders means uh, you'll be having a criteria in the or you can sort it also sending or descending order while uh, creating a query. So Microsoft Access provides various types of query: select, parameter, cross tab, action, and SQL structured query language a query, and uh, the most common and the uh, famous or the popular one is this SQL structured query language because this is itself a subject SQL, and uh, many you know students uh, the young boys and girls are creating their you know career in having a database administrator right i like to become administrator so let's start about our next topic that is setting a relationship between tables so what is a relationship first uh, just to make you familiarize with this term relationship is a link that associates a field in one table with the same field in another another table uh, that means, uh, suppose I'll be, this, these tables are given to us, uh, this is a student table, right, and uh, this is a marks table, right, so I have created for you here, uh, this is the student table, where I have put some data, uh, double clicking here on the marks table, this is a marks table, right, and uh, surely I'll be telling you how to create a relationship with uh, in between them so here in the marks table you can very well see this is the roll number column right and there are three columns here roll number and these columns are basically known as fields this is roll number field percentage field grade field and this is a student table roll number field father's name class address field city field okay so these are known as fields you must uh, know this thing and that's why I told you so here to create a relationship make two tables which you have already created one with the name created okay information about the students created uh, this and this is created right 
so open one of them in data sheet view okay so this is basically a data sheet view right uh, we have already opened and it's shown to you click on the database tools tab select the relationship between uh, but button from the relationship group okay so i'll go to database tools right so this is to click on the relationship i'll click on the relationship right this is already showing let me delete it for you uh, because it will be your first time uh, these tables won't be displayed here right so now is uh, show table show table while clicking on the relationship this show table dialog box will appear here what do you have to do you have to you know add these two by either by double clicking or simply by clicking add this one i have clicked and this is the second uh, both the tables have been you know selected and displayed in this relationship window right so let me put students first because uh, just for the sequence right so here uh, two tables have been uh, drawn or displayed so the show table window appears uh, and uh, select the required table we have clicked it added so now you can activate the uh, queries right tab if your relationship are based on re uh, queries or activate both if the relationships are based on both the tables and the queries so we won't uh, do it now uh, right because uh, we have to perform these steps also so now click on the close button to close the show table dialog box which we have already closed drag the primary key of the parent tabs so now you must know what is the primary key here so whenever any table is given to you uh, how you used to you know uh, search any specific data you are putting some specific data like uh, if i want to search suman from your class let's just say an example so what i'll do and if three sumans are studying in the same class so which helps me like which field helps me in searching the specific suman so their roll number because roll numbers are the unique uh, fields right which helps me identifying some specific girl which i'm looking for so roll number basically will act as a primary key because it helps us in identifying the specific or you can say the unique record okay because repetition won't be there if the primary key is set already and in both the tables uh, roll number roll number is basically a common field and both are acting as a primary key in their own own tables like roll number in student table is a primary roll number in marks table is a primary key okay so next is your drag the primary key of the parent table which is student table drag and drop it on the child table which is marks table on the roll number now edit relationship dialog box appear which states that this is the parent table this is a child table and you have to click on the create button after clicking the create button a link has been generated which is basically showing us a relationship between these two tables that means these two are associated with each other now via a common field that is roll number okay and which is already written here that that is what i have explained to you right so a uh, line linking two tables will appear indicating that there is a relationship so now click on the save button on the quick access toolbar so this basically is a quick access toolbar so i'll be clicking save button or we can simply control s press the control s so let me you know close it so that uh, uh, i should show you that that whether a relationship is being formed successfully or not so our motive was to associate these two with each other so if i'll be clicking any roll number in the student table so let's open the student it's there this is the student table 
uh, can you see that a small plus sign is here if i'll be clicking plus sign under the student table i got the marks table details also the, like if roll number 101 is there which is which belongs to you know nisha and all and uh, uh, this is the details of from the marks table let me open marks tables also just for the clarity uh, roll number 101 has achieved 89% and the grade is A so let me open plus roll number 101 is Nisha percentage is 89 and grade is A very much clear and crystal clear uh, you know transparent uh, data has been shown to us which states that the relationship was successfully built and it is built now also right so this was a data sheet view the plus symbol before the record indicate that this record is linked with another link as i told you right a small tip has been given after the relationship has been created between two the tables you must delete the relationship before you make modifications to the fields on which the relationship is based that means if you want to add some data here in the student table you must delete this link or the relationship so that uh, because the database is basically always a sensitive and uh, sensible data so we must not compromise uh, that data and we must not put that data into any of the risk so it is better you just right click and delete the relationship so that you could make more changes here okay i am closing it right and i am opening it again so there is no plus sign here because uh, that relationship was no more you know in a working state because i have deleted just for your reference okay so this was it about the you know um relationship right and now is your uh, uh, just a minute let me creating a query now right so we have successfully built up a relationship and let me you know again uh, build up the relationship because for the smooth functionality of raising a query and putting a query there right so creating a query in design view which totally helps us in you know creating a query for any of the table so open the database and click on the create tab on the ribbon so open the database we have opened the database create and uh, then we have to go to the other group and to click a query design so we'll click a query design here a show table dialog box appear so we now want to apply some uh, or create a query here so i'll be uh, clicking on the student table pressing the add button and the student table has been you know shown here right so select the show table we have just did it and uh, the selected table will appear as a small window which is a small window here and in the upper section of the query that is the object relational relationship pane so this is basically this area is known as the object relationship pane right pane is not that pane uh, it's a, a kind of ribbon and all uh, area so so you can see on the screen also that uh, on right side there is an image which has been given to us so double click on the field names you would like to add in the query so let me tell you that this is a query grid which helps us in you know um, having the sorted data or the result after putting a query so let me give you a small example suppose in this uh, field 
in the grade first one so uh, already the student table is coming because we have already added on the object relationship pane so whatever tables have been you know added here will definitely come in this field dialog uh, sorry drop down list because this is totally uh, attached and uh, what uh, you know what field or how many fields i want uh, in my query that is i want roll number and i want the first name and i want city only i want three these three things uh in this query which i am putting here so what i'll do i'll just uh field i'll just drag it and drop it here so field is roll number table is student and what is sort sort is in ascending order i want right and uh, in, on the second what i want i want uh, uh, the first name student and it is also in ascending and third is the city so i'll be putting here city and that's it okay so what i'll do i'll go to this run right uh, the run will helps us in this is a run execute command which helps us in uh, executing this query uh, so drawn from this table so after executing uh, here i will get one resulted table which only was, uh, will show only these three uh columns only so as you can see in the query one section this is a resulted table which is showing the roll numbers the f name and the city only and in ascending order you can see that right so it is successfully done right so this here was told to us like what is that uh, so now just uh, this is a design grid so field table sort show criteria I just shown you with the help of an example and uh, next is our specifying simple criteria which we have just did it so this uh, let me show you that relationship pane create so this is query second now uh, from the marks table so i want roll number Okay, let me close it first i want roll number right and i want to grade only these two ascending order ascending order okay so simple criteria just want to uh, show you the another query uh, let us understand it to view the roll numbers and the names of the students of class 8 double click on the required field in the table move the cursor to the criteria and type the criteria is equal to 8 in class field column so let me do it for you uh, let me add table show table right click on the table uh, student table okay so let me delete it move this table so what exactly they want from us to view all the roll numbers and the names of the student of class 8 <clears throat> double click on the required field in the table move the cursor to the criteria row so move the cursor to the criteria so we'll be writing is equal to 8 okay criteria in class field column in class field column so i'll be putting here class field right ascending order and the criteria is equals to 8 okay so let's uh, see the now click on the sort uh, property in the f column and set it in the ascending order we have already set it right you can see this this is the class right these how uh, this is the thing how they have uh, you know raising or put a query here so roll number here so let me do it for you this is roll number right not in ascending not sorted next is your name this will be in ascending order next is your class right uh, 
this is not in ascending but in a query we want equals to 8 and after that uh, click on the save okay we will save it this is query 2 we have saved query and uh, we will just run the query here so the result will be displayed in the query data sheet which looks like a table so like this I will be running it so we got three fields roll number name and the class where uh, only class 8 students have been you know shown in the query second day and uh, this was a design view right and uh, that is the data sheet view the table view is known as the data sheet view and uh, wherever we used to put the queries it is a design view okay so i hope you understood it and uh, next is our specifying multiple criteria specifying multiple criteria now uh, we were writing only equals to 9 here so multiple criteria is almost same but here one or is there or means either 0 8 will run or 9 ok so I will click on uh, run button and after that I got 9 also see you have to see one thing there are some uh, you know logical operators right uh, which is and or and not and means that in and basically both the condition must be true then only the answer will come okay if you want uh, is equal to 2 then 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 right so there 1 and 1 must be there to create it a 2 or to have a 2 number ok so here also uh, let me uh, just little bit explain it to you again so class student from the student table either the criteria is equal to 8 right means the class is equal to 8 or 9 and in or uh, logical operator you are not required to you know uh, or you are not bound that uh, uh, both the condition must be true either one can true can be true or uh, either the second can be true is equal to 8 is there if the 8 class is there then the 8 class students will display and if the 9 class student also there then the 9 class students will also be displayed simple right so both the conditions uh, are not required to be you know true uh, either of the condition can be true so now we got it that either 8 or 9 so we got it that 8 or 9 both have come here and uh, that f name is coming in an ascending order because we have already set one uh, you know condition there so you can easily save this query which, which is already saved right next are your forms forms are basically <laughs> a normally piece of paper on which a user fills required information in specific fields okay so for more clarity i just uh, want you to visit our website school's website uspcldh.com where uh, we have on the home page uh, at the right side top right we have a contact us button okay in the menu bar so click on that and uh, whatever page will appear that is a contact us page and on the left side below the image that is a banner basically below that image a uh, one query you know form has been you know created for you all that if you have any kind of query you can write to us directly and that wording or whatever you will write your query that is in the form of query in the form of form okay so you can see i'll show you just uh, you can see here like this uh, like this uh, that form is created not with this same color scheme or something uh, we have given you the text boxes and the labels uh, in front of those labels text boxes are placed where you can write your first name your query your description then you can submit uh, 
Immediately after clicking the submit button, your query or whatever wordings you have written will directly come to the school's email address that is uspcgroup.gmail.com. So these are known as forms basically. So a kind of piece of paper uh, you are writing in a digitized form. Okay. So a form can have a different name from a table. Yet a form manipulates the same information and data to be to a corresponding table. So a form, there are three main views where a form is displayed. Uh, let me change it. Yeah. And uh, the first one is the form view. Clear. Next is the design view. Third is the layout view. These are the three views basically. Right. Uh, let me show you in the create <coughs> button. Uh, this is the basically form view. This is the form view basically. Right. And uh, the design view is there. Right. The form design. Uh, and uh, third one is the layout view. Okay. So just to create a form, let's do it with the steps uh, given to us. Click on create, select the form option in the form, select the form option. So a new form is created in the and opens in a layout view. This is a layout view basically, right? This is the form layout, rule number 207. This is the first entry they are taking on their own, right? You can navigate it from here. Next, 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 next and we have reached to the last and now we want to go back either you press one by one this previous record or if you want to go directly to the first you click on this okay so you will directly come to the first and this you will come directly to the last and this button will helps you to you know create a new record to add a new record okay so if you want to edit or enter data in the form, click on the view drop down, arrow on the home tab and select the form view option, home tab and you can, you know, have a form view option there, right, uh, under, this is a view, right, form view, so this is a form view, or you can type anything, right, and you can save it, okay, new record index or primary key cannot be null because i have written okay the changes request were not successful because we created a duplicate value okay so this is a new thing i am creating a new entry uh, raghav and the class is 9 okay so i'll be saving it so this is saved so let me see if that has been added or not this was first, second, third, fourth, and this is fifth. Okay. So the 210 Raghav 9, which is successfully created and I will be saving it as a form. Uh, let me rename it with the form. Okay. So let me uh, you know, close it first. Then only I can rename it. Otherwise, form okay so we have saved it so now formatting a form formatting means giving a color or any attractive just to make it more attractive and all the those things so using the design tab uh, you can add a logo or any header or footer there right click on the form double click on the form right and uh, uh, form design is there right so let me just um, this is a design view right so this is the design view basically uh, i'll click on this label right giving them some color or something so let's see if we could give some color scheme to them red color right and the background color is uh, it's not good. No. Yeah, this looks simple. Right. Black. And the background to color could be 
this much and uh, these are the text boxes right so or either you can you know have a logo here if you click uh, the logo you will you know have the photo you can insert the photo in a simple way right and uh, using a format tab you can format the font size and color also if you want to you know increase the size you can increase the size right you can increase it by dragging it from here also so that is very much simple right so just drag it and a little bit more right side yeah like this okay so it is coming now so like this you can you know give the color schemes and all to them right these are the colors which have been given this is a class these are basically the text boxes these are known as the labels okay you can just save it and see whether this or how it looks like i just shown you the example i've not set it any color or something right so the background also you can you know uh, give the color right so this is the right click and the fill black back color so either you can take any of the color and just save it double click on the form you see the color has been changed or uh, you go to design view right so you want to add uh, some sort of uh, what do we say the photo and all so you can insert the photo also next is your reports very much uh, we have reached to the last of this chapter so report is an effective way to organize and summarize data for viewing or printing the report can be created exactly in the same way as we have created a form it is very much simple click on the create button right so we'll go to report click on the report and uh, by simply clicking on the report you got a layout of the report right uh, the name was form so this is uh, uh, the report roll number you can drag it make it uh, you can use any of the different color scheme from here right you can easily see how many color schemes have been provided to us whatever is deemed fit you just use it okay uh, it was this one nice and uh, click on the create just executed we have clicked the report group also report option in the report group for new tabs appear on the ribbon namely design range format and page setup so after this we got some new things arranged page setup and all arrange uh, either in the tabular form or in the stacked right or tab order right so either i'm doing the control z this is padding padding means the spacing between the cells you just see to it and uh, these are uh, this uh, space is allotted to us by clicking on these wide narrow and all these right and uh, or size to fit it will you know fit it automatically according to the size of the word okay side by side i'm doing controls that here okay. and uh, after that you can save control s uh, this is report i have saved as a report these are being you know save getting saved here and uh, the report object uh, gets added in the navigation page so these are the this is the navigation page okay next is formatting a report um, this we have already done formatting a report and all right so uh, you can see the properties from here right format 
visibly yes back color uh, see back color uh, you can select any of the color from here okay so it will come directly here and uh, format click on format so if you want to you know uh, add some pictures here so you can click on you know my pictures it's not coming pictures have not been you know saved in this system right so maybe Uh, you click on the logo and after that you can insert the picture in the background also right and uh, after that page setup page setup report why we are generating the report just to take the printouts or like uh, your report card the reports are same as your report card right so but a different template has been set for them also so you can easily see to it if needed modify the page size if you want to change the you know the margins you want to change it or you want to change the size of this page normally a4 size is there so i have selected a4 it was earlier letter which was selected so this is the page setup this will show uh, how it will looks a4 i have set uh, one column is there press ok ok and uh, this is the report um, so like this you can have it right uh, and that's it from our side uh, your chapter is finished um, soon i'll be uploading the next chapter also that are uh, that is python right and that is very much interesting you must uh, visit for the same so that you could understand what is programming what is python and where this you know uh, why these subjects uh, um, chapters have been added here in eighth class only okay so i hope you understood these this chapter if you have any kind of query you can ask uh, me from the official channel that is erp or you can ask in a comment box also in the youtube video uh, okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.